Yo, how's it going guys? Welcome to episode 24 of the Hardcore Iron Man series. Hope you guys enjoy today's episode. This is a really important farming level to get guys. 44 farming and now I can grow Eretz because I have a shit ton of Eretz seeds and now I can grow them comfortably. So that's going to be really good for the Herbler grind coming up. Okay guys, one last farming level because now I can grow maple trees. 23 and gotcha 80 range guys awesome just in time too. task is almost done third level 80 skill guys and here is 66 agility at this point I don't even expect people to remember what I'm training my agility for so let's just uh, remind ourselves I need 70 agility so I can complete this master clue have a really good chance I'm already in the fourth step but also I need the Sunday agility anyway so I can train my prayer at the blue dragons so either way I need the Sunday agility regardless so might as well just get it out the way now so I'm getting some bananas as payments for my maple trees and honestly I think this place is the best place to uh, go about getting the bananas right here cuz you know it he stocks a thousand and I just bring my baskets easy Oh yes, finally guys, 68 agility. So I jinxed myself earlier thinking that the fifth step of this arc was gonna be the last one, but nope, another sixth step, but hey, this has to be it, man, no bullshit. Yes, Badoodle. Oh, damn, Rune Full Helm, I'll take, I'll take it. Hey, nice, just hit 77 magic, man. Oh shit, I just hit 81 hit points, man. Add barrels again, dude. Spending my life leveling up my combat here, no joke. Not bad though. Another day, another awesome farm milestone. Here we go guys, 50 farming. Now I can grow Aventos, that's amazing. I got like 40 plus in the bank. So Aventos are probably the best seed I can grow for a while. Oh snap, okay, so I'm basically done with most of my fruit trees and trees now. And yeah, hit 52, but the main thing is the 1450 total, so that's really good, man. Overall, all the stats are looking pretty solid now, even my lowest level ones. This is going to be the final lap in a long, long time because I am now 70 a Jody. God dang, man. That is certainly the longest and driest grind I've done so far on this count. Okay, so I just unlocked the uh, Ceradomen room for God Wars, so... I'm gonna go and check out the master clue again and see if I can finish it. Four steps in, let's go for it. Okay, first time entering God was on here, but yeah, not gonna be doing anything too dangerous. Okay, the first one should be here. Got the first piece. Sweet, all right, perfect. Let's dig up the second part of this clue. Nice, nice, and then the last one's just a shallow village. Yep, got it, all right, let's form this. Please be worth my while. Come on, baby. Oh, okay. This one looks really doable. And got him. Perfect. All right. This is another one of these I can probably do. Okay, so I just figure out the uh, middle puzzle. I gotta go all the way to the wilderness. Right here. All right. Just hit 81 strength, and that actually got me to 94 combat. I didn't even realize this, but I'm actually almost 50 chest dry. The last time I got an item was KC104. So yeah, I'm freaking at 152 now. So here we go. Closing in on the 50 dry streak. I guess my character is entering the dry zone streak, man. That's what I'll be calling it. Alright, I am now 60 plus chest dry. Let's see if I can break it finally. No! This can't be! Oh my god, no! I broke the dry streak. My third ever Cuthin's body. Alright, well, I, I'm contemplating. I might out one of these for, you know, some cash, because it's pretty good cash. I'm thinking about it right now. I guess I don't have to repair this one when this thing is out. So I can just keep using some spare Cuthin's bodies. You know, gotta think positively, you know? In moments of despair like this, you gotta be positive. All right, this will be our last chest for the day, guys. Here goes nothing. Oh my god! Holy hell. Jagus was just teasing me all along. Wow, that is beautiful. Although it's one of the uglier helms, but I don't give a shit. Because this is what I need. This is one of the items that I needed, man. A tank helmet. Okay, that is awesome. 
I think it was worth it going super dry and you know feeling a little bit desperate after the third cousin's body but yo this is great this is great that's an awesome back-to-back -to, -back to see the luck is still on guys I am out of the freaking dry zone and all that's left is to get the tank legs the main crucial piece all right I can't believe I'm doing this oh, okay we got the Cusco part already all right let's run the hell back I should be okay man I'm gonna do this mad late in the night you know when there's significantly less people on so okay made it to the lever safe and sound oh shit there was a PK right there <laughs> Holy hell, bro. We literally just missed him. Wow. God damn, I can't believe I had to go to low 50 plus wilderness twice in a span of like 10 minutes cuz I need to go and get myself three Guthix items for one of the parts of this clue. So yeah, now we can do this. Okay, I've gotten all three pieces now and this is step number six. So hope this is it. Oh no, it's another clue. God dang it, that means two steps at the maximum, so here goes nothing, man. Damn, I need to get myself a dragon plate skirt and a dragon chain body. The plate skirt is not that hard, but the chain body is certainly um, quite a challenge. I will not be able to get the dragon chain body anytime soon. You know, this is the closest chance I have, so I will just keep it for now, I suppose, and decide on it another time but you know it was a good run I gave it my best shot ah oh, crap I thought I was recording man anyways I just hit 72 Slayer and that means I can kill Skeletal Wyverns oh my goodness that is where it's at man I would love to get these as a Slayer task so good rewards and for now I think I will be AFK Wyverns quite a bit because I can't do stuff like gargoyles and necros yet anyway, so yeah, before I you know get to that, might as well. And also have a chance to get some uh, nice rewards, resources, and of course, maybe a facade, but not counting on it. Just something I could do uh, for AFK when I need to, so that's really cool. Definitely a big upgrade from Dust Devils. Normally I kill Dust Devils for money and stuff, but Wyverns is certainly much better. Also managed to get myself 78 magic on this task as well. So last episode I mentioned the trident when I hit 75 magic and of course that's gonna be a weapon that I'll be trying to go for in the very long term and every two magic levels past 75 is an additional damage to the base damage so that's really cool at 77 I already unlocked the first one. So I would love to get my magic as hot as possible so I can just hit higher with the trident. So let me show you guys my herbler progress for my elite clue. So I've been doing a lot of farming in preparation for gathering all the herbs. I've used up all my renards now, the erits, the aventos. I think I'll be done with it by tomorrow. And yeah, look at the herb stack, guys. I don't know exactly how much XP this is all worth, but it's probably 100k plus, maybe 150k. By the time I get all the seeds done, maybe up to 200k in addition to like the herbs from kingdom and as far as i know i need around like 250k to get to 61 from this level so hopefully i can wrap up the herbal goal by the end of this week that would be amazing and these past few days i've been getting a lot of levels as well in just like various skills whether it be like for clues or just training my combat in preparation for pbm so i checked the high scores again and it turns out i'm rank 88 on the hardcore iron man uh, skill total high scores which is pretty crazy i actually went under 100 i thought that i would probably stay around 100 for a while since you know there's probably uh people that are more focused on just skilling but that's awesome to see even though i'm not grinding exclusively for high scores i'm still doing really well in that regard so that's cool and so this is where I'll be wrapping up today's video guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you want to stay up today, feel free to subscribe as well. That way you'll know exactly when the next video comes out. And speaking about the next video, I will probably have the normal Iron Man bank video and recap video coming out in a few days. That way I can prepare you guys for the race content that is coming on January 5th. So hope you guys look forward to that. Otherwise, I hope to see you guys soon with another video in a few days. Take care and bye-bye.